weather, the bad weather that has been announced for tomorrow is moving in faster. So we're gonna hurry up and ski down this beautiful place. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Peace Off TV. As you can see, we're on the road this week as we're out in Zermatt with this new Summit Series snow collection from the North Face. We're going to be taking up for a spin on the 4,160 metre summit of the Breithorn. It's going to be at some ideal testing conditions both for the jacket and pants and also my lungs as well. But I've got the perfect person to take me up it and that's Mr. Sam Antomatin himself. It looks like we've got a bit of a break in the weather forming around lunchtime. Sam's workshop's just down the road here, so let's go see how he's getting on. Hey Sam, good to see you. Morning, George. How are you doing? Good to see you up here. Yeah, it's great to be back in Zermatt. In Welcome, snow. yeah. Is this the famous Antimatin workshop then? It is, come in. Let's check it out. <laughs> Still to head to the Brighthorn, is that right? Yeah, still going up the, the Brighthorn. Ah, sweet. It should open up in about an hour or two. Okay. Then we're gonna have a short, good weather window mm -hmm. before another storm rolls in from south. Oh, right, so we're really up against the clock. Yeah, I think it's possible to do the Brighthorn in a, in a good amount, in a short yeah. amount of time for yeah. us. And I know it really well. Yeah. And how so, are the places right now? Because it's been quite a lean start to the season, a little snow. Yeah, it's not only a lean start to the season, it's also like beforehand we had a really dry summer. Uh, right, summer was yeah. warm, dry, mm. crevasses are opening up yeah. and I have never seen the glaciers in such bad oh, wow. conditions. Yeah. Uh, okay, and we're starting the day obviously in Zermatt, so we'll be able to take the lift system in Zermatt. Yeah, right. starting here, we're going to take the lift up to Klein Matterhorn, yep. 3,883 meters. Wow. So, uh, saves us a lot of it, ascent. It saves us a lot of ascent, but it means also that we're ascending fast on the, on the gondola, yeah. so your body will, will feel that. Uh, okay, yeah. So just be careful or just be aware when we are up there that yeah. uh, yeah. You should take it easy. Yeah, I mean, I just came from about 100 meters in my, in my hometown in Scotland, so I so, might, yeah. might feel the altitude a little bit. Going yeah, up to yeah definitely. Definitely, you're going to feel it. The first part is going to be all right, and yeah. then even we go to 4,000 meter. But otherwise, it's like easy glacier traveling for the first part, mm. and the second part is going to be a little bit steeper. We will see on the top of yeah. Brighthorn how the conditions are. It, it can be icy, it can be powdery. Oh, nice. Hmm. Well, looking forward to it. Should we get packed up and ready to go? Yeah, packed nice. up and then you got all your gear here. Yeah, exactly. Got all my gear, got yeah. my place your gear, Perfect. crampons, yeah. good to go. Jordan, yeah. Great day to go up on the Brighthorn. Easiest 4,000 meter peak. One of my training peak, also for the North Face to ski down. We have a great view on the Weisshorn, the Mischabelkette, also the, the Valley of Zermatt, the Matterhorn. We see all the way to Mont Blanc, where you can see already the weather moving in. So we're going to be fast now.
believe we're a little bit under over sorry 4,000 meters and as you can probably hear feeling really breathless Sam's up ahead leading the way Luke the cameraman is just behind us I'm not sure if you can see him and we came up from over there the Kleiner Matterhorn station 3,800 meters so we're not too far from the summit maybe another 200 300 meters or so It was right around this point where the winds really began to pick up. We lost our drone to a gust of wind at the summit and I got a bit of frost nip on my nose. So we quickly put our skins on, packed our bags and got ready to beat a hasty retreat all the way back down to Zermatt, which was a whopping two and a half thousand meters below us. Since. Yeah, well, half day. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was intense. Up on a bright turn. Was getting windy, huh? It was, yeah. Yeah. What, what would you estimate the, the wind speeds were? Up there? Yeah, wind speeds, I would estimate it about 70 to 80 uh, okay. kilometers per yeah. hour. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you know, with the wind chill yeah. effect, so minus 20, yeah. minus 15, minus 20, mm. with 80 kilometers of wind. So yeah. you, you saw like everything that you had exposed, your yeah. nose was turning white. Yeah, exactly. Super fast. So yeah. that's. Yeah, but it was perfect testing conditions for this sort of kit. <laughs> you know, this. <laughs> This is theoretically some of the conditions that you'd you'd look to take it out in, um, and yeah, yeah it performed really well. But also uh, practically, it's, yeah, yeah, that's like the you bring a jacket to protect yourself, yeah. right? Yeah, and that's it's really important. Also, I like it that you can walk on down on a flat. We were walking in the jacket. Yeah. We were not sweating. Yeah. And then you go up to the summit, super windy, but you're well protected. Yeah, that's it, exactly. Um, yeah, it was definitely clear on the summit ridge. And also when we're on the summit, we could just sort of hunker down. And like you said, we were really protected. It felt like a bit of like a fortress around you. Yeah. Um, yeah. And again, if you had anything free from fabric, then it would just freeze up. But everywhere that I was covered in the future light kit, yeah. it, it seemed really good. Yeah, yeah so future light, we, we have it now at North Face quite a few years and mm -hmm. those always the the free ride um, outfit was in future light. Yeah. My experience was that like in the last years we had a bit of an let's say an issue yeah. with with the waterproofness. It was super breathable but then on big powder days I got I got wet. Yeah. And now with the with that like the new kit I'm I'm really stoked on it. It's good to hear the the North Face are kind of listening to your your feedback I guess. Um, if something's not working for you then they'll address it and fix it. Yeah. So you know we get the the kit like one year before it gets on yeah. sales and we can still give feedbacks and they can still like adapt to the fabric also and and cuts and stuff. So I really like also how like the cuts, it's like minimalistic, yeah. but still it has like the big pockets where you have place even to put in your skins, yeah. radio, radios, uh, GoPros, you know, mm. in the days filming you still have like 
yeah not yeah definitely it. whenever i go ski touring everything seems to leave my backpack and somehow end up in the jacket so it's always yeah. good just to have these like huge pockets is there anything else you'd change on the jacket or or add to well i'm i would have like to have a little snow skirt mm -hmm. but at the same time it's yeah it's also good to have it li lighter and minimalistic yeah because with the bibs you have the the bibs that are going quite high up yeah so it's yeah, yeah. protected yeah mm -hmm. and uh, for me personally I quite like the cuff cuff design. There's there's not too much fabric around there, and I don't really use those internal gaiters, so it's quite nice just to have a streamlined cuff that obviously covers your hand when you're when you're wearing yeah, it with a glove. It covers your hand. It's important that in winds also like today mm. that you're you're well protected. That your your arm or let's say the the finishing here. It's going really over the the glove. Yeah. So for me, I don't need those like gators yeah. in there so i really like it how it is with a good glove with a good closing system this this is perfect it's yeah. really solid it's good you know you need you need uh zips and pockets on your on your kit mm. but it should be min minimalistic and and well designed yeah and i think the kit is really well yeah it is it has that like yeah, functionality at the yeah. end that I need for my expeditions yeah. and for filming. Yeah, totally. I mean, for me, in these conditions today, it was a really sort of dependable and confidence-inspiring bit of kit just to have that barrier to the elements and, and really protect you throughout the, for the whole day and those, those crazy wind conditions. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that it is also breathable at the same time, that's super important, super cool. Yeah, nice. What a day. Cheers for that, Sam. Yeah, thank you. Brilliant. <laughs>